welcome back to another video here on a Shih Tzu Life's channel and I am going to do a review on a new pet food that we have found. Now what I will say is that I am not going on to this food, I am just doing a simple pet review for any of you who are interested in looking into this food or buying this food for yourselves you know I'm just doing a, a review so this is the food that we picked up from the dog lover show at Glasgow in September felt like ages ago um, but it is Celtic Connection now I, I picked up a bag of Celtic Connection Food and I picked up a one kilogram bag just as a sample just to try I was interested in the ingredients that were in it you know what I'm like with trying new things however we are sticking to Lily's kitchen but I thought I would just show you guys what this food is all about so there was loads of different flavors let me just show you the the leaflet that we got so Celtic Connection is a holistic pet food it is um, Celtic knowledge it has different flavors it has also got cat food as well okay so um, if this is a lady who obviously um, has started this um, brand off okay so let me just read a wee bit from the back so it's grain and gluten free it's made in the UK it's 100% ethically farmed human grade quality ingredients naturally hypoallergenic and highly digestible unique single source protein philosophy therapeutic levels of nutri I can't say that word nutritive botanical herbs added glucosamine chondroitin and MSM with fresh and dehydrated meats steam cooked to retain natural vitamins and minerals no maize soya dairy beef gm or fillers no artificial colors flavors or preservatives it's formulated to meet the nutritional levels established by fedifa and aafco nutrient profiles for all life stages whatever that means i do not know i'm going to need to research that one the company um, i picked up um, from the stall i picked up a few of the leaflets so this is all the flavors that they have they have four different flavors so i'm just going to run through them very quickly they have chicken with turkey and sweet potato they have lamb with goat and sweet potato they also have salmon with trout and sweet potato and they also have duck and goose with sweet potato. Now everything is with sweet potato um, because that is obviously better than the white potato. Um, but yes, so different flavours. We could have picked from different flavours. They had all the flavours there at the, sto at the stall. Um, we asked the lady what was more popular, what did people seem to come back for what was the dog's favourites what was the animal's favourites you know things like that so she basically said that the lamb and goat was the most favourite I know in the past Pixie and Roxy have been really really sensitive to lamb when they were much younger um, but obviously Jamie was the one who picked the flavour and decided to pick the lamb and goat which is not the one I would have went for I would have went with the duck I would have went with any other one apart from lamb and goat basically I probably would have went with the duck more than the chicken or the salmon more than the chicken the chicken probably would have been my last resort but anyway let's just not get into that so we got a one kilogram bag there was one kilogram bags 2.5 kilogram bags 5.5 kilogram bags and also 12 kilogram bags there as well so we decided just to go for a little teaser and um, so this is our bag here now as you can see um, it is empty and i'm just getting wafts of the goat and the lamb but um, yes, it is 70% um, meat, it is 30% fruit and vegetables and herbs and it is 0% grain, gluten, 
grain and gluten so um yes and it has all the compositions on the back the amount that you feed on the back and obviously everything else on the back of it so this is the bag here it is a nice paper bag with a kind of um foil inside the only thing i don't like about these bags is you all know that i like resealable bags um, when it comes to food and treats and things like that lily's kitchen don't offer it and neither does celtic connection so i had to buy a jar basically to put the food in because the tape was just i put tape on it and it was literally just like tearing off um, so that was the only downside to it. Now let me just get the lamb and go and tell you all what is in um, the composition of it. So there is lamb and goat 70% including 35% freshly prepared lamb, 18% freshly prepared goat, 14% dehydrated lamb and 1% lamb stock. It also has sweet potato, um, peas, linseed, dried algae, um, which I have been told is really, really good for joints as well. A few things I cannot really um, pronounce, which I'm not even going to get in there to. Um, it has chondrontin, MSM and glucosamine. Now, what I will say is that the joint care in this is the highest I have ever seen it in any food that I have came across. Now there's probably foods out there that do a higher amount of joint care but this seems to be the highest one that I have seen. So in this it has 1,500 milligrams per kilogram of MSM. It has 700 milligrams per kilogram of glucosamine and chondrontin has 1,500 milligrams per kilogram. Now, Lily's Kitchen is not even a touch on that. A2 was a really, really high up there food, high for joint care supplements, but nowhere near the amount that is in this for joint care. This seems to be the ultimate for joint care um, supplements. So I really, really like that of the food, obviously because Roxy has her joint issues. Um, we also have um, cranberries, rosemary, dandelion, juniper berries, licorice root, um, angelica root, rose hips, chamomile, burdock, nettle, aniseed, fenugreek, peppermint leaf, marigold flowers, marshmallow root, fennel, yucca, artichoke leaf, seaweed, cinnamon, apples, carrot, pumpkin, pears and spinach. A heck of a lot of stuff in that food. Really, really good. Really, really healthy. I really like it. And if it wasn't for the girls being so settled on Lily's Kitchen, then I would obviously jump at the chance to get this food. Um, the only other downside to this food is that I cannot get it in any pet stores near me. I would need to order this online which is a hassle because then you have to wait for delivery. The delivery is not free over a certain amount of money. It is more expensive than what we were on on A2 and it is much more expensive than what we are paying just now. So because the girls are really settled on Lily's Kitchen I am sticking with it and I'm going, I'm going to stick with it. So these we're just using as treats. So this is literally what we have left of the one kilogram bag because we've just been giving them wee tiny handfuls every now and then. Um, the smell is disgusting, I will give you that. Um, but as is some dog foods, you know, obviously, you know, the lamb and the goat and ugh, not my cup of tea. Um, but these are the biscuits here. So they are a kind of little, oh, love her flower shaped biscuit. I'm going to try and hide my face and let you guys see that. So that is in there. They are nice, dark, rich in colour. Um, smell great. Um, <laughs> and the girls absolutely love them. They absolutely love lamb. It's been fine with their stomachs. We've had no issues. Come here. Come here. Kiss. 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 Good girl. There you go. Right, Pixie. Right, down you go. You only get one. Pixie, come here. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. 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 Give me a kiss. Hey, you. Give me a 
kiss. Yeah. <laughs> Cheeky monkey. So they absolutely love that food. Um, it, it is really, really palatable. Um, and if I can give you a kind of close up to what it looks like. Now all the different um, flavours are different shaped biscuits. They're all different. It's a good enough size kibble for small breed dogs. Um, what I will say is that the prices are really, really expensive. And you don't actually get um, free delivery on the website. So a 2.5 kilogram bag, including that, is £21.50. Now, when I bought a 2 kilogram, I think it was a 2 kilogram bag of A2, it was £20. Um, a 5.5 kilogram bag is £38.50, including that. Um, and a 12 kilogram bag is £67.50. Now, what I will say is we bought a 10 kilogram bag of A2 and it was £60. Now, for another £7, you're getting another 2 kilograms worth. So, yeah, okay, I, under I understand that. But it is still a really, really expensive food. And if it wasn't so much for the online ordering and if it was available in a shop near me and the girls weren't so excited about Lily's Kitchen and doing so well on that then yes I would probably jump at the, ta the chance but um, it's good enough just to try and to see another brand that's out there you know that is a really good healthy all natural food um, you know I, I do really like it, um, but unfortunately I am putting my foot down and I am sticking with Lily's Kitchen. Now on top of the food, we also bought a bag of, two bags of treats actually. I bought a bag of treats and then I went back and bought another bag of treats because I thought this food is just so healthy. I want to try the treats and you know, once one bag goes, I don't have any less. So I thought I'll buy another bag, you know, greedy me. Um, so I picked up the duck with apple treats because the girls absolutely love duck and duck is something they don't get very often at all. This is the bag here. It was a 250 gram bag. Now this cost me eight pounds. I'm sure it was eight pounds or was it a fiver? Do you know, I can't even remember. I think it was eight pounds and it has 80% freshly prepared duck chicken and turkey in it so it is not just duck um, and here we have duck chicken turkey we have sweet potato buckwheat chickpeas lentil dried apple carrot flakes um, and there is nothing really else apart from like your proteins and your crude oils and fats and all that kind of stuff in it um, but these were about £8 and there was a bigger bag. There was a bigger bag there but I decided not to get that bag just because I thought that was just a bit much money after what we had spent that day. I thought it was too much. But I put the rest of the duck with apple treats in a little container because I keep this by their bedside and they get a wee biscuit before they go into bed. I also give them a wee biscuit when I am in bed and if you see different colours of the screen is because I have television on in the background, tennis is on, which I don't watch, it was just on in the background and uh, yeah, that's it. So this colour may change slightly, um, in fact I should probably just turn the television off um, and or pause it or something. There we go, I've paused it. So, okay, so these are the rest of the treats here. Now these are really, really good sized treats. I paused that, for goodness sake. Um, so these are really, really good size. There is something up with this television. I'm just going to turn it off. Turn off. There we go. Um, so yes, so um, they're really, really good size treats and they're really, really good size treats for training, out walks, you know, recall, things like that. And um, they can probably get a couple in the one go. Um, this is the size of the biscuit here. So it is a tiny little bone, um, which is super cute. Um, and what I will say is that 
there's not enough in the bag. I wish I'd bought the bigger bag, but at the time I just wasn't spending that amount of money after what I had spent. Come here. Ow, you made me drop it. You silly. Right, don't be so aggressive. Come here. You are a horror. Ah, you're digging your nails right into me. Right, go take it away. Right, right, are you happy? Right, there's, no, there's nothing else. You can let go now. <laughs> right, let go. Let Pixie have one. Pixie, come here. There, there, there. There we go. Right, nice and gentle. See, Pixie's gentle. You are far too rough. Far too rough and far too aggressive with your eating. I need to stop that. <laughs> okay, so that is the treats there. And the last flavour of treats I bought, there was um, chicken there, I think, like just chicken. But I decided to get the fresh fish treats because they obviously like fish in this is with 80% freshly prepared fish. And the fish in there is salmon, trout and white fish um, in a salmon broth. This unfortunately has white potato but also has sweet potato um, and that is it basically um, and these are the same size treats um, 250 grams worth excuse me the only thing about these treats are that they are a different shaped treats so these are actually little fish shaped treats uh, no ah amaris let go, your nails are just, her nails are just cut and they are so sharp and like, oh my goodness. Um, but that is the treat there. I have to show everybody first, Roxy. So that is the, the size of the treat there. Again, really, really small, really good for training and you can have one now. Just do not rip me to bits. You are a cheeky monkey. She's so greedy. She's so greedy. Right, Pixie, come here. Oh, you're sitting so nice. Gentle. Good girl. See, that's how you should do it. You should be more gentle. <laughs> yes, so I just wanted to do a wee separate food review on that. You know, just obviously to let you guys know that there is another good food brand out there. Um, I really, really like this food. Um, I give it I give it the thumbs up. Um, however, we are obviously sticking to Lily's Kitchen at the moment because it is a really, really good food and the girls are really, really enjoying it. So it's good just to do a wee trial and just see what it is like. But I will have the links down below. To okay, you guys, so that is us. So give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you guys have tried this food, heard of the food or are on the food just now and um, as always please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next video bye guys